Welcome to the Herbs Coding class. Remember how just over a year ago I showed you how to download files with HTML? Well today I'm going to show you how to download files with JavaScript. Alright, so if I pop over here to Firefox, you can see that I have an empty page and there's no button or anything because I'm going to run the function from the console to prove that it's just JavaScript and not a download link. So the function is called download. We can call the function download open parentheses, open quotes, and I'm going to paste in the link to the file I want to download, just the Uva logo, close quotes and close parentheses and press enter, and it runs the file, and look at that, it's immediately requesting to download the file, which I can then rename google.png and save it. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. started, pop open your text editor, or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. And as always, you're going to want to start by making a doc type tag. Exclamation mark, doc type HTML. Next, you're going to want to make a link tag, a, any tag, href equals, and just open and close quotes, leave it blank id equals open quotes down link or whatever you want to call it i don't care style equals open quotes display colon none which means that it will be completely invisible and you won't be able to see it download equals open quotes close quotes and then inside it just put anything because it's going to be invisible so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put A and close that A tag. Next open up a script tag. Script. And inside it you're going to want to create a function. Function download. Open parentheses and inside them you're going to want to put link or Really, it can be anything, but I'm going to use link. Or actually, I think I'm going to use file. I like that better. Close parentheses. Open curly braces. Var link. Yeah, that'll work better. Equals document dot get element with a capital E by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, open parentheses, open quotes, down link, or whatever you called that A tag, close quotes, close parentheses, semicolon. All right, next, link dot set attribute, attribute with a capital A, open parentheses, open quotes, download close quotes comma file and that file is the link that you're going to be putting up here so it's going to set the download attribute to that link close parentheses semicolon and then link dot click open parentheses close parentheses because there's no real way to actually cause JavaScript to download a file what it's really doing is it's clicking on a download button that's invisible. So close those curly braces, semicolon, and close the script tag. Now you're going to want to have the link to a file copy. It can be any file, it doesn't really matter, just have that link. Now save this file. I'm going to call it download.html. Save. Pop open your browser such as Firefox, the best one, and find the file on your computer, drag it into your browser, and whoa, that didn't work. Try that again. There we go. Now it worked. Don't know what went wrong. Now, as you can see, the page is blank, so we're going to want to click Inspect Element and then click on Console so we can call the function. So, download, open parentheses, open quotes, paste in the link, close quotes, close parentheses, and press enter. And now, 
it requests to download the file. Now, I'm going to press cancel because I don't really want to download it since I already did. But you can call this function from anywhere on the page and it will work. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. It's really nice. I bought a phone case and just look at it. It's cool. And remember that Mario is actually bald under that hat.